Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to my home. Thanks for joining me tonight. Grab your coffee, grab your pink fuzzy slippers. We're gonna chat a little bit. Where did I go? What did I do? We are shopping for some home decor and some furniture at the thrift store. Okay, so I did good. I'm so pleased with what I got. You got to see a few snippets of some of the stuff I got. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna tell you why I do what I do. Did I, you know, need to spend this money? No, I did not need to spend this money, but here's the scoop. So fall is coming, My, the burr season, right? September, October, November. And I always like to full on decorate my home for the fall. And I actually start doing it in August and I do little bits, you know, a couple little things maybe from the Dollar Tree or, you know, things that I might find. I always like to try and get one or two new items at the end of every season. I get rid of a few things that either they're broken or I'm tired of them. So I did pick up this lovely blanket. So I did check it and it's machine washable in cold water. I, can you just hay rides, bonfires, football games. Doesn't it just give you those warm fuzzies, Hallmark movie? Yeah. So I did get that, it was $4.99. Now I will say this, at least my Goodwill, my day off is normally Tuesday from work. Tuesday's my, my, pretty much my standard day for the most part. And so on Tuesdays at our Goodwill, you can get a senior citizen discount. Ugh, yes, I qualify, ugh but I qualify, so it's just the way you look at it. But you get 20% off. So I got all this, and so even though it was $4.99, I got 20% off on that. So another thing that I got, fall decor, was this little, I love these, uh, I love when you get them embroidered. Somebody obviously handmade this. It was $3.49, and it's the orange. I do not like the lace, so the lace is coming off, and I don't know if I'm going to leave it plain, or I might add a few, um, Dollar Tree has the burlap fall shaped leaves, but I'm gonna be taking the lace off, but I just love that. Put that right in my kitchen, $3.49, so whoever made this, I appreciate their hard work. I just, I liked it, so I got it. That was the end of that. So I also did pick up, clothing wise, I picked up two shirts. Gavin is in need of some new red shirts, so I got him a shirt. And the men's shirts are $3.29. Even though Walmart is fairly cheap and other places, that $3.29 plus 20% off is not a bad deal. I got a shirt for $6.49 and it's Talbot's. So if you know Talbot's, so it's a nice teal color, it's a solid color. It's actually bigger than I normally wear, but I really like the color. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna be wearing it under a jacket. So even if it's a little extra loose, it's okay. I liked the color and I didn't have anything like that. As a matter of fact, I think these earrings, let's see, go perfect with it. So anyway, pick that up and 20% off of that. Another odds and ends that I picked up, this is a 31. I had one of these, oh, I don't know how many years ago. And mine, um, were out or I, I don't know what happened to it, but I really liked it. It's black and white. I will be taking these tags off. You tie it. I don't like that. What I usually do is just get a band and I put around it, but I like this to go with my planner. So you get, it's brand new because I, I know 31 products very well and it has the notebook in it and it still has the plastic coating on it. You get a spot here for pens or odds and ends. You have a pocket here, and you could put odds and ends in there. I know a lot of people have used this for their grocery shopping. List your foods, put your coupons, coupons or your pen. I wanted to get this as an extra to go with my planner. Sometimes I need to not carry as much with me, but I can carry a few extra things in here. So I'll be taking that with me uh, to work back and forth. I might even be using it for when I have meetings at work 
and I can go to sit at a meeting, open this up and have all my, you know, extra sticky notes and whatnot. And that was $3.49. And again, I got 20% off of that. My husband found this mug. He had to get it for me. It was $1.49 with 20% off. I am only a morning person on December 25th. So that'll go in our Christmas box of decor at Christmas time. We'll bring that out. If you know anything about me, you know I love the holiday seasons, everything about them. So we got that. We are putting together a gift basket for our oldest son, Graham, and he is going to be a father for the first time. I've already given my daughter-in-law some nice treats for being a new mama. And my husband wanted to do something just from him to um, our son. And it would be kind of a father to a son. Now that you're having a son or a daughter, we don't actually know yet. So gender reveal is coming. But anyway, he wanted to do something for him and he's been putting together odds and ends. This was $1.99 and it says Dad Proverbs 27 on this side. And then on this side is the Bible verse. The righteous man walks in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. So that will, we'll wash that up and that will go in the dad gift basket. And then, so this little piece here, this is just to add a little, little fun here. This is gonna get ready. This is something I bought actually in Pennsylvania at a thrift store and I just leave it up year round. I love the colors, I love the look. I don't care that it has to look like the fall or whatever, I like it it stays up. But look how gorgeous these two pieces look together. So you can decorate your home on a budget. You can change things up. $4.99 for this blanket. Wash it in cold water. It's good to go. And you know, I can use it all of September. I can even use it in August if I want. Who cares? All the way through November, it's got that vibe. It's got that look. Add it with something like this. Add it to, you know, this little look. It's great. Now, I picked this up, this little sugar bowl, and let's see which direction. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to read that. I think it says lounge, L, or maybe, let's see, L-O-N-G. It's kind of faded out a little bit. H-A-M-I, some of you might know this brand, uh, made in France. Anyway. It's just a sugar bowl. I fell in love with it. Very vintage looking. I liked it. And it was $3 and 49 cents. I just, it was a spare of the, uh, you know, moment decision. Just do I want it? And I liked it. And I'll tell you what I'm going to use it for in a minute, but I did do a Google search on this and I'll put up here how much, I think it was 80, 89 or something, 85. I don't even remember, but I'll link the picture up here if I were to purchase this on Etsy or eBay. So, um, you know what? I did a good, I got a good deal out of this. $3.49 with 20% off and it's worth 80 some dollars. That's not a bad deal. I know it's a sugar bowl. I know a sugar bowl because it has the two handles. I don't know why sugar bowls have two handles, but they do. But you know what I'm using this for? For salt, for my Himalayan pink salt. I know you can buy these salt in pepper containers where you could do them loose when you're cooking and take a pinch out. I don't like the look of them. I liked the look of this and I thought, you know what? Who said I can't use it for a salt container? So if you see that by my stove when I'm cooking, you're gonna know there's Himalayan pink salt in that. Okay, another decor piece that I picked up was this beautiful tray. I am in love with that. And I thought, you know what? A charcuterie tray, this was $2 and 49 cents, 20% off. And I thought, oh, I could do sandwiches on this. I could do pancakes in the morning on this. I did read the label on the back, you know, about dishwasher and all that. And uh, I can use this for food, but I just thought, or I could just put it on the end of the table with this and the decor, it matches perfectly. I was just in love with it. Absolutely in love with it. So then I picked up the end table. I'll put a picture here and you got to see that in the beginning. It has like slate on the sides of it. They were $9.95, they had two of them and I could almost kick myself for not getting the second one. We might just take a swing over there 
I don't know, tomorrow maybe, Saturday, see if we can get the second one. I really liked it. It's a good sturdy piece and it has a shelf at the bottom and we're putting it on the side of our couch as like a little end table. We had one there, but it was kind of low to put your coffee cup. So, you know, got to, you know, it's like when a woman have to try in our bag to see if it does, does the shoulder trick. With the Wilsons in the home, the end table has to fit your coffee mug. So this is like the absolute perfect height. And I like it next to the chair that I'm sitting on and I'd like it next to the couch as well. So we'll see what we can do. We're gonna go check it out, but $9.95 and I got 20% off of that. Wasn't looking for that, but when I saw it, I fell in love with it and my husband said, let's get it. Then you got to see the lighthouse table and it's brand new. The price tag was, the original price was still on it. And I'm telling you, I saw that my husband's library is all done in lighthouses. He, he made a corner of our bedroom into a library for himself with a special chair that he can enjoy reading and praying and doing his devotions or just chilling and hanging out. And he has bookshelves all around and has all his Bible study books on there for when he does counseling and teaching and all that. And yeah, I, I found, I saw it. I didn't even ask him, I put it in the cart. So I'm driving my little cart, you know, going around the bend. And all of a sudden I'm looking over here at some of the stuff on the shelf and I could feel this vibration in my cart. And I look over and there's a lady coming the other direction. I was at the end, like going this way and she's coming this way. She's starting to pull it out of my cart. And I'm looking at her and she said, that's mine. So I thought maybe she donated it and realized, you know, oh, I'm buying it. And I still looked at her. I was dumbfounded. Like you don't take things out of somebody's cart. And she said, I wanted it. I saw it from the window as I was coming in and I saw you putting it in your cart. That's mine. And I'm like, uh, I said, well, I'm sorry, but that's for my husband. And she said, yeah, but I want to put a green plant on it and I really want to dress it up. And I just said, I'm sorry, it's for my husband. And I sort of pushed my cart and moved forward and went to the next aisle. And I thought, lady, you're strange. You don't take things out of people's cart. Anyway, I brought that home. The top of it is beautiful. You got to see the top, the round uh, top part of it has that lighthouse um, scenery on it. But the base of it, I just, it that to me, added like another level and he loves lighthouses so i got it then the best part of the day for me was the chair the blue what is it like two different shades of blue and cream and i i'll have to tell you on another video but i'm creating a little nook for myself it'll be my youtube office it'll be my planner office it'll be my craft office and a few other things it's it's a tiny little area but long story short, some things have happened and Lynn needs an area. So Lynn's going to create an area based on her husband's recommendations. And I said, I, if I have an area, I'd love to get a chair that I can like, if I come home from work and I just need 10 minutes to just take a moment, I would have a chair. And I looked at prices on chairs, forget it. I'm not paying those prices on Walmart and Amazon, the ones I like are anywhere from $250 to $400, no way. So then I looked on Facebook Marketplace and everything looked ratty, I couldn't find anything. And I said, well, if I find something at Goodwill and I looked at this chair, the coloring is perfect for the color scheme I wanna do in the office. And guess what the best part was? It was $12. It's, it had a little wiggly leg, my husband fixed it. For $12, it's not worn, it looks brand new. We stuck it outside on the front porch. It was 60 degrees the other night, it was crisp air. The air just kinda like cleaned that out. We took Lysol wipes, wiped it down, sprayed it, disinfected it. And then my husband put a little Febreze on it, made it smell good. We're ready to go, $12 for the chair. I said to my husband, if I got a year out of it and got sick of it, $12 you'd pay for a movie ticket or a meal at, you know, a fast food restaurant. $12 to me is not going to break my bank to make myself a nice cute little nook office for myself. For $12, I could afford to redecorate. I can afford to 
not like it in a year and change it up for $4.99 plus 20% off, I can get rid of this at the end of the season. I mean, I paid three something for it. If I get one season out of it, not that I will, I plan on keeping it, but I'm just saying if after the season you're like, it served the purpose, but you know, I don't need it anymore. Things like that, even like this, you know, you get it and it was $2.49, you got 20% off. You use it for the season, maybe you use it for September and October, and then you're going to someone's house in November for a hostess gift. Put a loaf of pumpkin bread on here and maybe some nuts on here, wrap it up and gift it away. You've got yourself a nice tray as a gift. So can you save money? Yes, you can save money at a thrift store. You can do really well if you can get the senior discount, they have a military discount, they have a student discount, there's lots of discounts. Sometimes I know, not in my area, but in Pennsylvania, the Goodwills out there do coupons. So you, you bring a coupon and go shopping. Redecorating your home does not have to cost you an arm and a leg. You can redecorate your home on a budget, find some great things, whether it's seasonal or year round, and you can have lots of fun looking while you do it. All right, guys, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind, if you liked the video. So I know it was a good one. Leave a comment below and we'll catch you all on the next video.